Hello, grade seven. How are you? I hope you are okay. I will explain lesson four, unit one, algebra, multiplying and dividing in rational numbers. Before studying the concept of multiplication, we have to know the science rule in multiplication. Positive times positive equals positive. Negative times negative equals positive. Negative times positive equals negative. Positive times negative equals negative. For example, 3 times 2 equals 6. Negative 3 times negative 4 equals 12. Negative 5 times 2 equals negative 10. 6 times negative 2 equals negative 12. Multiplication operation. If A over B and C over D are two rational numbers, then A over B times C over D equals A times C over B times D. For example, three fourths times fifths. Two multiply two rational number multiplies their numerator to get the numerator of product. Three times one equals three and multiply their denominator to get the denominator of product. Four times five equals 20. Another example, 5 equals 30. We should put the product of multiplication in its simplest form. So I will simplify this fraction. Divided by 6, divided by 6. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. 30 divided by 6 equals 5. Another example, 2 fourths times 2. It's better to simplify the rational number before carrying out multiplication operation. So I will simplify two forces. Divided by two equals one, divided by two equals two. Half times two equals one. Another example, four and two sevens times third. We should convert the mixed number to an improper fraction before carrying out the multiplication operation. So I will convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. But seven, four times seven equals 28 plus two equals 30 times third. 30 times one equals 30. Seven times three equals 21. Simplify the product divided by three, divided by three equals 10 over seven. I will convert this improper fraction to mixed number. 10 divided by 7 equals 1 and properties of multiplication. Closure property. If A and B are two rational numbers, then A times B belong to Q. For example, 2 thirds times half equals three over six, symbol five equals a half. Two thirds and a half are two rational number. And its product belong to rational number. So we can say that Q is closed under multiplication. Commutative property. If A and B are two rational numbers, then A times B equals B times A. For example, half, times third equals third times the half. If we replace the places of two numbers, the result doesn't change. Associative property. If A, B, and C are three rational numbers, then A times B times C equals A times B times C. For example, half times third times two-fifths. If we took half times the third, half times the third equals one over six times the two fifths equals the two over 30. Simplify the fraction divided by two, one over 15. In another side, half times third times two fifths. If we took third times two fifths equals the two over 15 times half equals 2 over 30. 
Simplify this fraction equals 1 over 15. The same product. It's associative property, multiplicative identity, or neutral element property. If a rational number, then a times 1 equals 1 times a equals a. The value of the rational number doesn't change. For example, 2 thirds times 1 equals 2 thirds. Any number times 1 equals the same number. So I can say that 1 is multiplicative identity, multiplicative inverse of rational number. Any rational number except 0 has multiplicative inverse. A over B rational number, its multiplicative inverse is B over A. For example, 2 thirds, its multiplicative inverse is 3 over 2. And vice versa, the multiplicative inverse of 3 over 2 is 2 over 3. Any rational number has multiplicative inverse except 0. 0 has no multiplicative inverse because 1 over 0 is meaningless. One over zero division by zero is undefined, can't be meaningless. So any number has multiplicative inverse except zero. Division by zero can't be. Any number times its multiplicative inverse equals one. Multiplying by zero. Any rational number, any number times zero equals zero. We can say that zero is a strong number in multiplication operation. Multiplicative inverse of one is itself. Multiplicative inverse of negative one is itself, negative one. Property of distributing the multiplication over addition and subtraction. A times B plus C equals A times B. A times B plus A times C. B plus C times A equals B times A plus C times A. Multiplication is distributed over addition from left and from right. For example, use distributive to find the following. Five sevens times two thirds plus five seven times third. We can talk five sevens common factor times two thirds plus third equals five sevens times two thirds plus third equals one. Five seven times one equals five seven. A times B minus C equals A times B minus A times C. B minus C times A equals B times A minus C times A. Multiplication distributed over subtraction from right and from left. For example, 11 times 3 tenths minus 3 tenths. We said that any number times 1 equals the same number. So 3 tenths times 1. We will talk 3 tenths common factor, 3 tenths times 11 minus 1 equals 3 tenths times 10. Simplify the denominator with the numerator equals 3. Division operation. If A over B and C over D are two rational numbers and C over D not equals 0, then A over B divided by C over D equals both the first number the same, A over B convert divided by two times and times by multiplicative inverse of the other number, D over C. For example, 
two thirds divided by seven fifths equals the first number two thirds times the multiplicative inverse of the second number five over seven equals two times five equals ten over three times seven equals twenty one. Multiplicative inverse of any number called reciprocal. As we said that division by zero can't be meaningless, undefined. So, since division by zero is meaningless, division is not closed, and the division is not commutative and not associative. There is no identity element in division. I think I explained all ideas in this lesson. I wish you understand. Goodbye.